I'm about to tell you a story that may change how you raise broiler chickens forever. 10 days, just 10 days. That's all it took for our broilers to gain two kilograms. No secret drugs, no black market boosters, just one powerful change in their diet that most farmers overlook every single day. But before we get to that, let me take you back to where this all started. A few months ago, I visited a small commercial farm outside Eldoret. The farmer, a brilliant man named Joseph, had everything going for him, clean brooding area, good hygiene, vaccination on point, and well-sourced feed. But his broilers were stuck. At 28 days, they were barely hitting 1.2 kilograms. He was frustrated. He'd done everything right, or so he thought. Doc, he said, I've changed feed brands, added vitamins, even tried garlic and aloe, but the birds just won't grow. I'm bleeding losses. I stood there quietly watching his birds, and then I asked him a simple question. What's your lysine level? He looked at me like I'd asked him the pH of the moon. Lysine, specifically L-lysine HCL, was the missing piece. And it's not just Joseph. 90% of the poultry farmers I consult with have no idea how critical this amino acid is for broiler growth. Let me explain why. When we talk about feed, most farmers think in two boxes, protein and energy. But chickens don't grow on crude protein. They grow on digestible amino acids, the building blocks of muscle. And lysine? It's the first limiting amino acid in maize soybean meal-based diets, the most common ration used by poultry farmers across Africa and Asia. If lysine is lacking, your chickens can't use the rest of the protein efficiently. They'll eat and eat, but growth will slow. Feed is wasted, you lose money. But when lysine is optimized, everything changes. Let me share the details of the trial we ran. We used 300 cob 500 broilers, starting at 21 days of age. All birds were raised in the same environment, same water, same lighting, same temperature control, and the same base finisher diet. The only difference? We adjusted their amino acid supplementation. Here's how we split them. Group A, the control, standard commercial finisher feed at 20% crude protein and 3100 kkla me kg. Group B, same feed plus 0.25% L-lysine HCL. Group C, same feed plus 0.40% L-lysine, HCL, plus balanced threonine and arginine to match lysine. After 10 days, here were the results. Group A gained 1.3 kilograms. Group B gained 1.6 kilograms. Group C, an astonishing 2.05 kilograms in just 10 days. That's right, over two kilos, with better feed conversion and cleaner litter too. So how did this happen? Here's the breakdown in simple terms. More often, your flock might be getting sick your hens might be producing less eggs, and your birds may not be growing faster as you'll desire. Worry not, we have created an ebook with more than 49 natural organic herbs that will ensure a faster growth for your birds, ensure that your hens lay more eggs, and ensure that your birds have an enhanced health through treating diseases and pest eradication. These herbs ranges from simple and available products such as garlic and ginger to moringa, mango leaves, and pow pow. This ebook explains each natural product or herb using a very simple layout. Background information, biochemical composition, benefits for the poultry birds, preparation, and finally inclusion levels or dosages. So, you'll be able to apply the information even if you're a beginner farmer. On top of that, you will get free consultations to help you achieve your desired goals. Get the ebook using the link in the description of this video or scan the QR code on the screen right now. Are you ready to make more money farming poultry organically? Lysine helps the bird build muscle tissue, not fat. It enhances nitrogen retention, which means the protein in the feed is used more efficiently. When lysine is deficient, birds grow slowly and use protein inefficiently. But when it's balanced, especially in the finisher phase, where the muscle gain is rapid, growth can skyrocket. Now let's talk numbers. Broilers aged 21 to 35 days need about 1.2-1.4% lysine in the total diet, depending on the strain and target market weight. But here's the thing, maize contains only 0.26% lysine and soybean meal around 2.7%. Unless you're using a perfectly balanced premix, which most aren't, your birds are running on a deficit. That's where L-lysine HCL comes in. 
It's a synthetic form of lysine, concentrated, affordable, and stable in feed. A simple inclusion of 2.5 to 4 kilograms per ton of feed can correct the deficit and transform growth. But, and this is critical, lysine cannot work alone. In our test, Group C only outperformed because we balanced threonine to 68-70% of lysine and arginine to 105-110% of lysine. If lysine is the captain of the growth team, threonine and arginine are the midfielders. You need all three to score. If you don't balance them, the excess lysine can cause a relative arginine deficiency, leading to poor growth and wet droppings. Now let me tell you what happened to Joseph. He added 3 kilograms of L-lysine HCL per ton to his finisher feed. Within 8 days, his birds that were stuck at 1.3 kilograms jumped to 2.1 kilograms by day 35. He called me, half laughing, half crying. Doc, why isn't this on every feed bag? Good question, Joseph. The truth is, commercial feed companies often aim for average needs, not optimal performance. If you want to push your broilers to perform like athletes, you need precision feeding. So how do you do this on your farm? Let's walk through it step by step. Step one, analyze your feed. If you're using formulated feed, check the amino acid profile. If the manufacturer doesn't provide it, that's already a red flag. Ideally, use feeds that disclose digestible lysine levels, not just total CP. If you're doing home formulation with maize and soybean, understand this. Maize, 8-9% CP, 0.26% lysine. Soybean meal, 46-48% CP, 2.7% lysine. You'll likely need to add 2-4 kilograms per ton of L-lysine HCL to hit the target levels. Step 2. Balance the amino acid ratios. Here's your cheat sheet. Digestible lysine, 1.21.4%. Threonine, 68-70% of lysine. Arginine, 105-110% of lysine. Methionine, 40-45% of lysine. Use a premix with balanced amino acids or get a feed formulator to help you create a precision profile. Step 3. Monitor feed intake and growth. Record feed intake and body weights every 3-5 to five days. Look for FCR improvements. If your birds are growing faster and eating less per kilo of weight gain, you're on the right track. Step 4. Adjust based on age and breed. Younger birds need higher lysine levels relative to older ones. Use breed-specific guides. COP500, for example, has a nutrient spec sheet that outlines lysine needs at each stage. Step 5. Don't ignore gut health. A sick gut can't absorb amino acids. Keep vaccination up to date water clean, and consider herbal additives like aloe, garlic, or oregano oil to support gut lining health. Let's take a breather with one quick win you can apply today. Buy 5 kilograms of L-lysine HCL. Mix 2.5 to 3 kilograms per ton of your finisher feed. Watch your birds over 10 days. Weigh at the start and after 10 days. You'll be shocked at the difference. Still not sure it's worth the effort? Let's do a basic economic breakdown. Suppose adding lysine costs you an extra KES 200 per ton of feed but your broilers hit market weight five days earlier, saving feed, time, and space. On a 1,000 bird farm, that could mean saving KES 10,000 to 20,000 per cycle. Faster turnover has more cycles per year, more profits. And now, the million shilling question, why don't more farmers use L-lysine? The truth is, most have never heard of it. Others don't trust what they don't understand. But here's what I tell every farmer. If you want extraordinary results, you can't keep doing ordinary things. That's what Joseph learned. That's what hundreds of my consulting clients have realized. And now, it's your turn. Optimize your lysine, balance your amino acids, treat your feed like a formula, not a filler, and your birds will reward you with growth, efficiency, and profits. So the next time someone says broilers can't gain 2 kilograms in 10 days, send them this video, because now you know how it's done. If you learned something valuable today, hit that like button, share this video with a fellow farmer, and subscribe for more real, practical poultry science that makes a difference. Let's raise smarter together. What if I told you that the secrets behind commercial poultry farm's success aren't out of reach? These high efficiency tactics, ranging from precision feed formulation to strategic lighting programs, are the reason why large-scale operations consistently outperform smaller ones. Click the video on your screen where I'll reveal 10 game-changing practices used by commercial poultry giants and show you how to implement them in your own farm. Let's level up your poultry business with actionable insights that drive growth, efficiency, and profitability.